This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. All right, so good evening, everybody. Um, quick, uh, you know, uh, medical minute about something that's uh, routine but not super exciting, but something we see a lot of. So we see a lot of patients with nonspecific hand pain, numbness, tingling, a lot of times carpal tunnels in the differential. And there's a lot of different tests that we use for carpal tunnel. Um, some of them are kind of complicated. They don't have a lot of great uh, test characteristics, but I was reading about a very simple test that we can do, um, and it's just a hand raising test. So you basically have patients who, you know, you think might have carpal tunnel, put both their hands over their head for a minute, uh, kind of just relax. They don't have to be super stiff, um, but put the hands up there. And uh, if they start getting symptoms of carpal tunnel, which are usually uh, either pain or numbness and tingling in the median nerve distribution. So thumb, index, middle fingers um, in that area, sometimes in the wrist and the forearm. Uh, if they start getting those symptoms while their hands are up over their head, that test has been shown to be just as sensitive and specific as kind of some of the more, um, you know, complicated tests are a little more difficult to perform. So uh, just something easy to do if somebody, you know, thinks they might have carpal tunnel or if we want to test for it while we're talking to the patient, have them hold their arms over their head and um, kind of quick and easy. If they do have carpal tunnel, just kind of treatments that uh, sometimes can be done, splinting in a neutral position. A lot of times we use a Velcro splint. Um, oral steroids can work. Follow-up, sometimes patients get steroid injections. Sometimes they actually need surgery. But, um, you know, just something uh, that we see a lot of that uh, there's some easy tests for. Thanks, guys. Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Bradley, anesthesiologist and U.S. Naval officer. I'm also the host and creator of the Black Doctors podcast. This podcast provides weekly 30-minute episodes that tell the stories of minority healthcare professionals. It is my hope that hearing these unique and inspiring stories will encourage others to consider pursuing these challenging and rewarding career paths. So please join me for the Black Doctors Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all major streaming platforms.